Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about John the Baptist. Who was John? John was a cousin to Jesus. He was definitely a relative. But John went out into the wilderness and lived by himself. We know that he was born of Zacharias and Elizabeth. And if you remember, Mary went to see Elizabeth. And it was John that leaped in Elizabeth's womb when she heard the salutation of Mary. So he was filled with the Holy Spirit right there. Inside her belly, was he was, he was powerful. But who was John and what made John great? Well, we can look at right here on the screen uh, the different scriptures. He, in Luke 7, 28, right here, he says, he said, there's none greater. For I say unto you, among those that are born of a woman, there's none greater, no greater prophet than John the Baptist. But he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. John was the greatest prophet who ever lived. Jesus' own testimony talks about John. So what was it that made John great? Well, John, right off the bat in John three twenty-eight to 31, he says right here, Ye yourself bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoice greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, and I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all, and he that is of the earth is earthy, earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. What made John great was the fact that John was willing in his whole life, sometime in his, after, he, after his childhood, he went to the wilderness. Remember, John said he was a voice of one crying in the wilderness, make ready the way of the Lord. John sacrificed his entire life. And then when it was time, John came out of the wilderness, went to the Jordan River and was baptizing and preaching. And he was willing to do this for Jesus. Now, if we go down here to Matthew eleven eight 8 to 15, real quickly, he says, but what went, Jesus is talking, he said, what went ye out to see, a man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. John didn't do that, did he? He wore camel's hair, uh, skins. <laughs> yes, he sure did. But what went ye out to see, a prophet? Yea, I say unto you, more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. So this is prophesied, John. This has been told thousands of years before John. Long before John ever got here, it was already prophesied that John would come. Okay, get me. I'm getting excited. Let me, and I don't have the wind because I'm sick today. Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of a woman, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, right here, suffereth violence, heaven is, and the violent take it by force. Yeah, listen to this. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and it, and he, and if you if you will receive it, this is Elias, which is to come. He's Elijah's son. He, I mean, he is. He's got the spirit of Elijah. John is John. He's himself, but in him is the spirit of Elijah, powerful spirit. And he and he come out, man. He's coming out to to tell the world that Jesus is coming. Remember what John said. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. He seen Jesus coming down that hill, and he he, he rose up and with joy he, he pronounced that Jesus is the Messiah. Here he comes. Yeah. Jesus goes on in 15 right here. He says, He that hath ears, let him hear. Are you hearing who John is today? What made John the Baptist great was John's ability to sacrifice his whole life he preferred Jesus over himself. He sacrificed his life for the Messiah. So my question today is, are we? 
Are you promoting yourself? Are you lifting yourself up? Because if you are, this is going to come to naught. It's going to fall down at your feet. Sooner or later, everything's going to come down. And if by chance you go through promoting yourself until your last days, you will have to stand before the King of Kings and give an explanation of why you promoted you and didn't promote him because it's him that will save the world, not us. We can't do that. In the new translations we have today, they're, they're saying, go and make disciples in the NIV and other uh, translations. But then that is exactly how evil the world is because you can't make disciples. Only Jesus can do that by a born again experience. But are we sacrificing our life to lift up what John lifted up? John went through and he did this and he said, I must decrease so that he can increase. Are we doing that? Are we lifting Jesus up? Are we using the gospel to raise ourselves up, to promote us? Because we think that we're some great thing in the eyes of God. If you want to be great in the eyes of the Lord Jesus, then you have to make your life a living sacrifice. Yeah. Remember what he said? I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you commit your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be ye not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that good, acceptable and perfect will of God. That's what's wrong with the world today is it's all self-promoting. We're lifting ourselves up. We're fleecing the sheep. We're taking advantage of other people so that we can make ourselves something great. That's not what I want to do with my life or this ministry that I was called to. I want to decrease and have Jesus increase. I do these videos so that you can be stronger and better by his word, not by my word, but by his word. Jesus said, my words are life. He, he is the life. He's the one that can help people. If we're self-promoting ourselves and we're doing things we're not supposed to, how can God get praise from that? It's, it's, this is a time that we're living in. Pastors are promoting themselves to be great minds and great thinkers. They're promoting themselves that if you come out of seminary, you're, you're automatically called to ministry. That's a lie. It has to be called. You have to be called by God himself. And then you have to be blessed by God. Because if the word we teach and we preach, the Holy Spirit's not in it, then we're doing no one any good. That's what's wrong with the world today. The, what they're doing now is they're saying that Paul was, some, there was something wrong with Paul and he didn't know what he was talking about. That's why we got women preachers coming up and women teachers when they clearly know that the Bible says that Paul said, I will not suffer a woman to teach, but the women are doing it anyway, saying Paul wasn't qualified to say these things and teach. Paul knew exactly what he was talking about, and he put it in there. See, that's what's wrong with the world today. They think that God's word is somehow is a mistake or it's incomplete or it wasn't said right or done right. But that's not what John did, did he? John lifted up. He said, I well, glory. He said, I must decrease and Jesus must increase. He said, I'm a friend to the bridegroom and I take joy in hearing his voice. Do you remember what I said? Here Jesus comes walking down the hill, comes down, down there to the Jordan River. And John says, behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. John didn't say, behold, I'll take away the sins of the world, nor that guy or that lady over there. John said, here comes the Lamb of God. He will take away the sins of the world. That's what we need to get back to. Stop living in disobedience and pride and vanity and trying to lift ourselves up and get back to the word of God. We need ethics back in the pulpit, ethics back in the church. We need the power of God unto salvation back in the hearts of our people so that we can help people get to heaven. Are you increasing yourself and decreasing Christ? Because if you are, you're sinning. If you're fleecing the flock, if you're telling lies, if you're promoting yourself and trying to lift yourself up, I forevermore listen to people talk about, they said I was a great man. They said I was a great speaker. They told me that I, I did it like nobody else. Buddy, if you're a man of God and, and you're a woman of God, you'll stop promoting yourself and lifting that up. And you'll say, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm just a little voice 
of one crying in the wilderness. But I'm here to represent that great voice, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. It's not about Lee, and it's not about you. It's about him. Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Stop trying to make yourself something you're not and just find your place in the body of Christ so that you can be a benefit to this thing. There was no man born of a woman greater than John. There was no prophet greater than John because he was willing to sacrifice his life for his savior his messiah remember when he met mary met elizabeth right there and then the bible said that john leaped in her womb at the salutation of mary the holy ghost was on john from inside the womb that's what we got to have if we're going to please god to the ability and the want and the desire to lift god up his son up the holy spirit up and stop lifting ourselves up stop living in disobedience stop living unethical preaching unethical messages teaching unethical things only to promote ourselves and to decrease god buddy i'm telling you one day after a while jesus is going to come back again he said paul said we look we see through a uh, glass darkly but one day face to face and one day we're going to stand before this king of kings and he's going to ask us to give an account for ourselves glory there's a book that's open in the lamb's book of life and those names not written there will not go to heaven are you on your way to heaven? Are you lifting yourself up or are you lifting up the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Buddy, I, I'm like John. I, I'm just a friend of the bridegroom. He's the bridegroom. The bride is the church. I just want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a great man. I don't want to be a great speaker. I don't want to drive around in limousines and fly in jets and do all these things. I don't want to lie to people so that they'll think I'm greater than what I am. I'm just a simple country preacher, just a simple lamb that was born again and on a, in a country church. I was born again when a man got up and preached the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit, and it pricked my heart, and conviction came in my heart, and I gave my heart to God. I said, forgive me of my sin. Please be my friend. And he came in, and he saved me. And then from that day forward, I'm doing my best to promote him, not me. He's the great one. I'm just a little one. And he just lets me sit among the sheep. Glory to his holy name. That's what my message is today. Are you promoting you or are you promoting the king of kings? Stop trying to make yourself something you were never called to be. Stop trying to make yourself greater than God had ever intended. You're already great if you're born again. You're a child of the living God. Live that life and please God through good works. We're supposed to prefer our brothers and sisters over ourselves. We're supposed to help them benefit. And because we will make our life a sacrifice for the King of Kings and for each other, he'll lift us up and we'll be blessed. Right? I got a little happy with this. That's all right. I learned from John. John taught me something that I'm just a little one and he's John was great. And I'm not worthy to even stand in the same place with John. But I'll tell you one thing. I learned that John give his life a sacrifice. Are you doing this? Are you promoting you so that you will, people will think that you're great? This is only temporary gratification for people to pat you on the back. But the Bible said, beware when you're well spoken of. <clears throat> because John was hated for what he did. Yes, he was. Remember, he, he condemned that leader for having his brother's wife. And they plotted against him, and they cut his head off. John lost his head, and it broke Jesus' heart. I know that it did. It broke his heart. But he, he, did, he gave a testimony of John that day and said, None greater, none greater than John. It hurt him because that was his family. But John was willing for a time. Here the man comes out eating locusts and wild honey, wearing camel hair. Well, glory, just come out preaching the acceptable year of the Lord. He's coming. And then he came. He said, Behold the Lamb of God that, that takes away the sins of the world. And then Jesus said, John, I need to be baptized. And he, Now I'm paraphrasing this, but John says, No, nah, no, no. He said, I have need to be baptized of thee. And he said, We have to fulfill righteousness, John.
and he baptized him there and the uh, the bible said that there was a dove that came out of heaven and lit over him it landed right on him and that was john's sign to know that the son of man had came into the world glory 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 what about you today are you promoting the lamb of god he's the only way he said i'm the door to the sheepfold he's the light of the world are you promoting that lamb are you doing this for you yes that's my message today i'm gonna get off here i'm just about happy enough shouting i don't hardly have enough air to breathe but blessed be the name of the lord jesus is the king of kings and the lord of lords now and forever he said heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away that's the side i'm on i'm on jesus side what side are you on today if you're not on his side or you promoted yourself you come out of a college thinking that you're a preacher just because you finished four eight eleven years of college that qualified you to preach the gospel you need to repent you need to repent and come to god asking for forgiveness and come in your heart well glory i'm glad that i'm born again i'm glad that i'm on the right side today what side are you on <clears throat> let's get right live right and die right live an ethical life stop lying to people stop telling stories that ain't true and start preaching the truth talk about the truth share the gospel lead people to christ lead them away from you and to him he's the one Whew. bless his holy name forever i gotta get off here i love you with all my heart be blessed in jesus name i'll be back soon lord willing if not I'll meet you over home. I love you with all my heart. Glory to his holy name. This is it. This is time to get it right. Now's the time. I love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Glory. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye.